welcome to another Pi game tutorial. I'll start by importing my Pi game onto the system. Okay, then the next thing is you must make sure you initialize your your game. Okay, now the system is initialized. The next thing I'll do is uh, maybe I should define my colors, but there's one or two things I'd like to show you guys. Uh, let me define my colors first. I have yellow in there, tab it to about that. Yeah, equals. Now that's the yellow. The notation for yellow is 255 or 255 and comma zero. That's yellow. So for the rest of the colors, I might as well just speed it up. Go for black. Let me speed up the colors. There, all my colors are defined. I intend to use those colors. Then the next thing I'll do is to define what I'll call my display. My display would be the screen itself. So I'll say my display, my display equals pi game dot display dot set underscore mode. And now you guys might be wondering what I want to do. I just want to set my screen resolution right there. Let's go for one one thousand and twenty by let's say maybe seven hundred I might have to adjust that okay that's it done then the next thing I will do is to define my my caption my caption is like a title by game dot display dot set underscore caption right so I don't know what to call it maybe just give it a I'll just call it uh, rectangles red color pattern there so that will be my that will be the title and uh, the next thing will be I might as well just con uh, complete this let's just say rectangle rectangle yeah there rectangle color patterns rectangle okay that's fine rectangle color pattern and the next thing is uh, let me declare a boolean function I intend to use I'm just going to call that pattern the pattern in this case is false all right there the next thing would be to define what I will use to manage how how the clock or to manage how fast the screen will load up so I'm going to call that clock equals pi game dot time dot clock with a capital C so that's just to manage how fast the screen will be updated the next part of this is uh, let's use a while loop we we'll say why not why not pattern make sure you enter column there then we'll go for for event in Pi game dot event okay dot get okay now this one would be just to exit the system that's if event dot type equals say equals pi game dot quit you see in capital letter pattern that I defined earlier equals true there that one is sorted now okay since that is sorted the next thing would be to to call the following function pi game dot draw what I want you to do is to draw some rectangles for me draw the following rectangles so I call my display my display comma the draw functions taken for argument so comma in this case let me go for maybe maybe red there now the next argument would be would be the coordinate so I'll say zero comma zero then enter the size 200 that's the width by 100 that's my width right there so I can then give this okay just before I do any other thing let me end this program right here and just say pi game dot display dot well I'm j I'll save this run it and see how it goes then I'll take it from there okay just before I run it I think there's one one bracket missing there so let's complete that so let's run it and see now 
okay this is the output okay you see how it looks but uh, i think i'm gonna have to increase the size of uh, the width of the screen so let me do that now let's take that to about let's come back here and just add to there run it again and see how it will look okay that's looking a little bit much better so maybe let's make everything about 300 i just want it to fill up the screen yeah that's much better okay that that's uh, the first square is drawn so what i'll do next is just copy this copy that paste it right underneath here is either I change this color or if you like you can just copy any of this notation right here look at that white I can just copy all of this copy everything make sure you place it in between this argument right there and you see but it might be confusing for some people this is the first argument this will be class as the second argument and this will be all of this will be class as the third argument so we're talking of one two and three argument right there okay now and i need to define my coordinate just meant to be one yeah that's correct now so let's run it there guys you can see it is right underneath the red okay so what i'll do is uh, just copy i can copy that paste and guess what just to let you know that you can also just enter white there okay because that's why every uh, the whole colors are defined uh, and here instead of entering that i can just enter maybe let's go for blue there so 110 another 110 here to make it to 2 200 uh, 220 so save give that a try and you see that so what i'll do now is just speed it up and get back to you guys i suppose you'll get the idea okay guys this is how the first column look now i will now create some the second column the third and so on so let's go back to the codes like that now in here i have all together i have six rectangles so all i just need to do next is copy all of this or space right underneath there and then change his very coordinate to 210 let's repeat the same thing for this although the colors are not changed but uh, let's just run it and see we can always change the colors later on there's an arrow there there's an indentation there let's move it there that's fine save run the program again and that's it that is what you get so i'm just going to change the colors and get back to you okay guys and this is how the this is the end product of uh, the program really but uh, i just don't like here maybe i should just reduce the resolution here in any case it's a very beautiful um, game i think i like it and i believe you guys will like it too but just before that let me reduce the size of the re let me reduce the resolution okay reduce that to 1250 so i'm just going to run it now again just to show you guys the final end product there this is how the final end product look like i like it and i believe you guys like it too you can always uh, do it whatever you like with it but just before i leave let me show you guys the codes Close that and here I have the entire codes that I use in developing this. I had to make up some more colors right here. You don't have to make as much colors I've done. And right here, 
those are the lines of codes and there they are they are very similar the only thing different are just the coordinate so I'll be right back with another with the second tutorial I'll just be developing I will change the rectangle to circle so that's all I'll be doing for the second tutorial so see you guys later